So the day after the retreat, I looked around me and I saw what looked like prosperity. Prosperity by way of self-love. I said to myself, wow, could it be? Could it be that after all this drama and chaos and suffering and painful reactions, confusing relationships and wishful thinking, could it be that it's okay to really take life as it comes, to live in a state of order and relative prosperity, even when in that moment I don't know where the next bit of money is coming from. I had finally, after seven years of renting out my upstairs as a vacation rental, I invited an Airbnb photographer to come and take pictures of the four places that we now have. I started with the upstairs one just when I was finishing up being, well, I wasn't done yet. I was still very sick, but I needed a source of income. So I started that and I didn't even know there was such a thing as Airbnb when I started it. I just knew I needed to fix up my upstairs and find a way to turn that into income. And then Airbnb showed up. <clears throat> and even though I was also sometimes renting a downstairs room for people who needed more space, finally the cottage next door came open, and while there wasn't money for that either, I ended up having two friends go in with me to allow me to buy that. They b believed in what I was doing and partnered with me to make it happen. And each step of the way, it's like that. You just take one step at a time, believe in the vision that comes to you, do what seems to make you feel good and f feel the best about where the littlest parts of you, the scared parts of you, the parts of you that don't know what to do, what kind of vision do you have that would make them feel better? And as you start to invest in that, at some point you'll be able to look around and go, wow, look how far I've come and even though there's always more to go and there will be more painful situations that come up they start to become your kind teacher you start to trust that even when things really hurt you know that it's leading you right to where you need to go and so it was funny that we I even just an example I decided I was going to paint our little cottage yellow so that it would match my house and I'm making all of this into a retreat center nowadays you know so painted the house yellow and guess what it didn't match my house at all so we ended up building shutters and painted the house shutters and these shutters the same color and I even built that little uh, decoration up there a little gable decoration and now I look at it and I go wow it looks so great. So that's kind of the way it happens. Just the, the littlest things like that, that you really can't always know, you know, where life is going, where it's going to take you. But it just takes you. I mean, this house is just a tiny little metaphor for the kinds of painful situations that have resolved themselves in ways I could not possibly have imagined. So it's a case of getting yourself out of the way of the how, knowing that you can't really know how things are going to unfold, but that at some day you may look back on all the chaos and the wreckage that you thought was your life, as I did on that day a couple of days ago, and say, wow, look at this. Look at all the things that have come together. It was very clear to everyone but me that I wasn't going to be able to keep this place or keep up with it or grow it. And while it did really scare me and I lived in a bittersweet place until I got a hold of this work that allowed me to question my thinking, things were rough. I didn't believe in a bright future at all. I didn't know where I was going. And now I look at the incredible results that the people who were just at this retreat got. We had our follow-up call and it's fascinating how everyone who had been even at former retreats is now really moving into the area of taking real action steps, bigger tangible 
more sustainable changes than they've had before. And as always, someone else always shows up as being completely different when people go home from the retreat. The very family members, husbands, situations, money situations, whatever it is, suddenly shows up as being miraculously different when they work on themselves. And in the meantime, this group has continued a little texting conversation where they're so close. So many of them have been to four retreats already and are signing on for the next one and are also part of our year-long mastermind group. So it's not like they haven't done their work, but it really, it really, really does pay off. And what I want to tell you is that if you're feeling confused or hopeless or wondering how it's going to work, just keep questioning the thinking that would tell you that a person or a situation or even yourself is the enemy. And eventually you'll start to see the ways that they are your great teacher. They're always acting on your behalf. Even the worst case scenarios are happening for you, not to you. And you'll be able to someday look back and be like the flowers, just trusting that you'll be cared for. Take care. Bye.